This is Brent with Likens Motorsports, and it is a Friday morning, and I just got done flowing the 302 Tunnel Port race head. Um, the race head is different from the street head. The combustion chamber is, is different. The valve sizes are completely different, and the flow numbers are different. Uh, if you remember from a video that I did several months ago, where we flowed the street head. Uh, I think we were at about 255 CFM, and I'll put up a, a link to that video at the top right hand of your screen. Um, so we are about 30 CFM over the street heads. Uh, the exhaust did very decent. Um, so for 1968 numbers, um, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with these as well. Now, if you remember from a couple of weeks ago, we flowed or didn't flow. We poured an intake port. So we were at about 208 cc's on intake port volume, um, which is about what we would expect for, uh, that big old port. Um, to compare the, against modern stuff, um, you know, we're seeing 280, 290 from, AFR 185 cc heads, so and with smaller valves as well. So, you know, before somebody pipes up and says, "Oh, you need to put AFRs on it," yeah, you know, uh, there's no need to state the obvious that a modern head will outwork a head that's you know 50 years old. But for 1968, these are these are good numbers. So the reason why we flow heads, flow numbers aren't everything. Uh, velocity is is part of that. Chamber design is part of that, but the flow numbers will allow us to see what happens at, uh, at different amounts of lift. If you get a port that backs up, or if you get some turbulence in a port, um, or if it just you know stops going um, between six and seven hundred on on the flow bench, we we flowed a, a port twice and uh, at about six fifty or so things started, the noise started changing a little bit, and, it, you know, it was leveling off between six and 700 lift, so they will not go up above 281, 282 CFM. Um, what that does allow me to do is to calculate what we will need as far as camshaft to hit a specific RPM based on a displacement. Um, Flowing the intake against the exhaust will let me determine how much duration split we need. Um, as always, Ford exhaust ports weren't that great. We're at about a 58, 59% intake to um, exhaust flow ratio. So that will determine a lot of the camshaft specs as well. So I will be uh, contacting Mr. Mark shortly to decide what we want to do with these heads. One head is um, considerably larger than the other head. Um, the, there's a pretty significant mismatch between combustion chamber volume and port uh, volume and even port dimensions. Uh, one head looks like it's uh, never been touched and it is sitting at about two, 200 um, diameter across uh, the port opening. The other head's two, 300. So pretty big difference. Um, I think if I would have my preference, um, I would try to find another head that has not been touched, but these are very exotic, they're rare. And, you know, just getting what we have is, is kind of difficult. So um, I've got some uh, talking to do with, with, with Mr. Mark, customer, and make a determination on, um, on where we need to go from here. I do have a video. I took a video of uh, while we were doing the flow, and uh, if you guys have never seen how a flow bench works before, it's like a vacuum cleaner on steroids, and um, you, you bolt the cylinder head up to a slider, which has a, a bore size in it that replicates uh, the cylinder bore and um, you use a gasket you bolt it down and uh, away you go but um, 
yeah, so interesting numbers and um, not bad numbers considering there's a big honking tube right in the middle of the port. So, you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't bad stuff. And I look forward to trying to make these work with a, uh, a really modern uh, bottom end. And uh, we'll have a good race motor. All right, guys. Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving week. And uh, hope you got to eat lots of uh, good food yesterday. Hope you're, you'll have a good weekend as well, and uh, I'll catch up with you later.